is officially back open to boaters after several days of flooding. It's just in time for the holiday weekend and people out there did not hesitate to take advantage of it. WCI 3's Sarah Lehman talked to people who saw the flooding at its worst. Sarah, I bet they had lots of stories. They did and this man says he comes to Clinton Lake all the time and over the last few days the water had basically taken over the parking lots, sidewalks and the beach and that's why Illinois Department of Natural Resources had it closed for the last few days. Boaters are getting back to Clinton Lake. Making the best of it. That's after several days of the lake being flooded and closed. With the torrential amount of rain we had, the water came up and we've had rain events like that before where the water's come up, but it's immediately receded. This time it didn't immediately recede, so all of our launches were flooded. And just as a safety measure, we needed to keep people off those launches. John Williamson is a captain with the Illinois Conservation Police. He says it was a concern for drivers as they tried to launch their boats. And he was worried about boats on the water causing a wake and flooding facilities like this restaurant. Greg Roberts says he visits Clinton Lake pretty often to camp. He drove up for the weekend on Friday. That's when the storms hit. The next morning we came down here and it was completely flooded. The boondocks was closed. The water was clear up over these sidewalks we're standing on here. He says he's never seen anything like it. At first we were kind of bummed because we're camping and it's raining, but on the other hand, we got to experience it firsthand. And it was pretty amazing driving around and looking at everything and how high the water was. Williamson says water's been going down over the last few days and went down over a foot right before they decided to reopen the lake. He expects the water to continue moving in that direction. Now, even though the lake is open, the beach still remains closed. It's still very much underwater. And Williamson says if they get any more severe rain, they could close the lake again. Back to you. Yeah, it looks like you can't really picnic in some of those areas yeah. either. All nope. right, thank you.